Hello and a very warm welcome to all our viewers. It's my absolute pleasure and delight to introduce to you my guest tonight. It's Catherine Dalton. Yep, you heard it right. The bowling coach of Multan Sultan, the first ever female bowling coach in a men's franchise league. It's an absolutely enthralling proposition to see her at work. Obviously, Catherine has played international cricket. She's still pretty young, but she's well into her coaching. She had assignments with Multan Sultans previously. And it all started for Catherine at Loughton Cricket Club in Essex, where I was a small part of that too. And I saw her grow through the ranks. That was the initial part of it. We will talk to her about that too. But let me get her in first. Thank you very much for your time, Catherine. And it's absolutely exciting to see you as bowling coach of Multan Sultans. How did you take this news? I just want to know how do you feel about it and how excited are you about this opportunity? Firstly, it's an absolute honour to be the first uh, female fast bowling coach in any men's franchise cricket. But to do it in Pakistan, where there's an absolute passion for pace, is super exciting. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get out there. And hopefully we can go on and lift the trophy this year for the Multan Sultans. Like I mentioned, uh, previously you have worked with Multan Sultans on their development project. That was with Ali Tareen as well. Tell us how that opportunity came along. What have you heard of Pakistan and how your experience went when you actually were there? So around five years ago, I was invited out with it, my coach and mentor in Pont uh, by Ali Tareen to his fast bowling camps in Lodron. Um, and yeah, it was, a, it was a great experience. We did 10 day camp out there. We worked with some fantastic fast bowlers, some first class players, PSL bowlers. And I've done that twice now. I've been to two camps. The last one was in January and we worked with Mohamed Ilyas, Samin Gaul, Arshad Iqbal. So some really great cricketers and obviously Arshad Iqbal is doing really well, which is which is fantastic to see as a coach. And the impact we had w was great. I mean, we were received really well. I absolutely loved it. I mean, the passion for pace in Pakistan is incredible and the passion for cricket in the country is also incredible. So to have an opportunity to work with players who who strive every day to get better is is wonderful. So I'm looking forward to going back and hopefully this time uh, we can lift the trophy for the Multan Sultans. Your journey has been absolutely incredible. And like I mentioned before, I had a good fortune to see where it all started. I want to take you back to those days and can you just tell me how did you fall in love with this beautiful sport? Yes, I started playing cricket a long time ago now, actually. And my brother used to play at Loughton Cricket Club here in Essex. And I used to, you know, go to his training sessions on a Friday night. And one day my mum and dad said, why don't you join in with the under 11 softball? So I did that and I absolutely loved it from the get go and, and progressed on from there to playing for Essex. And, and then, then my journey after that has been what it is. So that's where it really started. That's where I was influenced a lot by the people around me. And I think it's so important, particularly at grassroots level club cricket, that that's where it starts for everybody. And yeah, that's where I, I learned, you know, to love the game of cricket. And uh, around that time, I think the Ashes was on 05 Ashes and yeah, it just gripped me totally. Last 15 years have been incredible in the growth of women's cricket. It's absolutely astonishing how far it has come in that period. I mean, I'm not talking about just the sport, you know, but also the coaching you yourself, Sarah Taylor, Alex Hartley has come along the way. The broadcasting as well. You see plenty of women involved in that. And also not to forget at Multan Sultans, your GM, Hijab Zahid. She's also a trailblazer. And how do you see, you've seen this change happen in front of your very own eyes. How do you feel about that? Yeah, the growth of women's cricket has been absolutely astronomic. If you think back 10, 15 years ago, weren't really seeing any female coaches at all. So obviously Sarah Taylor, uh, Alex Hartley, who I'm really looking forward to to working with and being with in the PSL. It's phenomenal. And I hope it's the start of something very special and that this is now the, the norm going forward, that there are female coaches in franchise cricket, in men's uh, cricket around the world. And you never know... Um, international cricket one day there might be a female coach involved with an international male side that would be pretty cool as well so it's it's been a, an amazing sort of few weeks 
I'm really coming to terms with it now and I'm really looking forward to getting out to Pakistan and hopefully making a difference and um, improving the performance of our bowlers and, and as I said earlier, going on to win, win that trophy for, for the Multan Sultans. Well, not long to go before it all starts. PSL is just around the corner. Thank you very much for your time, Catherine. We really appreciate that. And we wish you all the luck for your assignment with Multan Sultans. And we just cannot wait for it to start. And also, all the viewers, thank you very much for watching as well. We'll bring you more such content here at this YouTube channel, Commentator's Curse. So please do watch, subscribe and follow. And we look forward to your company for more of such content right here at Commentator's Curse.